Hey guys, welcome back to Homesteading with the Heberts. Today we're just gonna uh, give the chickens some some scraps. I already gave it to them. We we just got back from uh, evolution where we uh, we uh, had some extra eggs left over. We had some beets from the other night, some Swiss chard. So we figured we'd share that with the girls. Um, we had a lot of excess. So. The other thing I'm going to do is I put some, a couple of hay bales out here the other day. Um, so I came out, we're going to go ahead and cut the straps on these hay bales so that the girls can actually spread it around instead of just climbing on it. We'll just cut that strap. Cut this one over here. We'll open up the strings. I'll see if I can't get that string off of there. I'm going to put you down for a minute. So I just cut this bale. I'm just going to pull the string out so that they don't play around with that. Wow. This one does not want to come out. I'll have to come over and pull that one out. Actually, let's see if I can wrap it around here and get a good, good grip on it. Nope. Let's just trim it. Problem is, I put this out here when it was warmer, and they refroze, or the hay actually froze in here. So, cutting the straps is going to allow them to, to actually spread the hay now as it thaws. As you can see, they'll be able to get in there. Right there, here. So, I got the hay bale here. And Cut the strap so that they can actually, they'll be able to spread this around. Pick through it. We're supposed to get some warm days. We're supposed to get some really warm days this week. That'll allow this, these hay bales to thaw out and they'll be able to spread it a little bit better. Um, we're going to go ahead and take the water out here. So we'll go ahead and take this, go refill it, look at that, it's iced over. Right here, let's go ahead and check out the, the eggs, see how many eggs we got. Wondering if any of them froze overnight. Oh, we got some... We got some guys destroying eggs. <laughs> oh, you rooster. I have to come back out and get those eggs. Actually, you know what? I have a bowl. Let's grab the bowl. We'll put all the eggs in the bowl, we'll take them in, clean them up. It's the first time I've seen the eggs get that bad. These guys look like they're enjoying themselves. We got Mr. Rooster in here squawking away. You guys need some more feed off to bring some of that out. I know Mr. Rooster. His water dish is all nasty. I'm gonna back here get it emptied. I'll have to fill that one up too. All 
Okay, let's get cracked up these eggs. We had an egg eater come in here, so I'm going to have to clean this all up. These eggs are nasty today. They get all spread out with those. Our uh, egg. Take this hair out of here too. I'll have to cook these up. Let's clean all this hair out. No sense in letting this hair go to waste. Be used in here. We just don't want it in the nesting box. How you doing girls doing, huh? Having a good time? Alright guys, so we got the water filled here. Just gonna put that up. Oh, missed the hook. Dry that off. There you go girls, have some water. Now in case you're wondering how we're planning on getting rid of all those frozen eggs you saw me take out of the uh, coop, well I went ahead and I fried them up, scrambled them, but I scrambled them with their eggshells so that we can feed them right back to the girls. We'll go ahead and do that right now. Here you go ladies. Have some more eggs. Nice warm meal for you. Get some eggshells and some eggs. Figured they were frozen, so the best thing to do would be to cook them up and give them back to the ladies. What's up, Chibis? Looks like they're enjoying it. All right, the other thing we got to do is you saw that I took all the hay out of the nesting box. So we're going to grab some hay from here. And we're going to go ahead and bring this and put it in the nesting box. Nope, we gotta open the nesting box. So we cleaned it out, got all the eggshell out of there. Now we're gonna put another bed of hay in there for him. Get another flake. There should be enough now. There we go. That'll make for a nice nesting box for him. See, there we go. Nice and clean. Hey Rooster, I know you probably want some want some water, so let's give you some water. I was filling up his blue bowl here inside the house and then bringing it out here. 
that that was really a pain trying to carry it with the water in it. So I found a much better method is to put it in the the coop and then take the water to it. So right here I can actually position it too. There we go. Now I'll give him some nice warm water. Let's go see how they're doing with those eggs. Hey, Farquad. It got extremely cold this week. Probably down to negative two. Well, the chicken's doing pretty good. The only problem is I think I'm producing a little bit more moisture than I need to inside the coop with that water bottle in there. What's your problem there, rooster? <laughs> but they're all doing pretty well. The fire quad got a little bit of frostbite on his comb again. He's got a really big comb. So he keeps having issues. But the girls seem to be doing really well. I mean, look at her. She's doing really well. Mabel over there is doing really well. They're enjoying the eggs. I'm just hoping they get this... I didn't put this in too long. This hay without it being uh, spread. I'm hoping this weekend, or this week we're supposed to get up to 50 degrees. I'm hoping the day that happens, they're able to spread these two bundles. I mean, they're, they're freaking them apart a little bit, so they should be able to spread them. Now I'll help insulate their feet a little bit more. Help make it drier in here. Um, these girls, uh, they're having a good time this one. We got a few too many roosters. As you can see, we got about five roosters here and then six if you count the one inside. So we're going to have to get rid of some of those soon. Too many roosters for the amount of hens we have. But it is a really nice day out here today. It's probably upwards to 34 or so. But they look like they're enjoying themselves. Well, guys, thanks again for coming along. Uh, remember to click that subscribe button. Click that like button if you would. That would help us out as well. And have a great day. Until next time. Bye.